one making his home state proud. He certainly is in South Carolina native Charlemagne the God. It's an author, TV personality, radio host, and founder of the Black Effect Podcast Network. Well, back in 2005, both Charlemagne and Craig landed on the top 10 under 30 list nice. in <laughs> South Carolina's newspaper, oh, you had a dog? The State. That's awesome. Look at you. Aww. You brought that picture, didn't you? I sure did. Uh, <laughs> we were so Charlemagne was able to come down here to visit with us. It's good to have you back, yes. guys. Oh, man, always a beautiful day to wake up in South Carolina. Yeah. Charlemagne is from a, a small town called it's Monk's Corner, yes, sir. about 35 miles south of here, roughly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, what, what's your favorite part of South Carolina? Um, I love downtown Charleston. I love, I love downtown Charleston. I think um, downtown Charleston is a place that, you know, everybody should, should go visit. You know, I think that's where I got married at, you mm -hmm. know. So, and it's also crazy because being from Moss Corner a couple hours away, you have a beautiful place like downtown that we never thought we should, we were welcome at. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it feels good to feel welcome there now. Yes. Great. Yeah. Well, since, since we have you here, there's, you know, there's not that many pictures of young Craig. There's not that much we know <laughs> about <laughs> Craig. You see, you see the dog looking his face right yeah. there. Yeah. So, was that trouble? That wasn't trouble. That was trouble. Oh, man. So let, let's, let's go back in time a little bit. Not Tell us back. things about Craig we might not know. <laughs> I will say, I will, especially <laughs> at, the, at the clubs, we want to yeah, hear about clubs. Hear I will say this, Craig is who he he, he is. The person uh -huh. that he portrays on television is who he actually is. I remember one time we were in a club called V12 in Columbia, South Carolina in the 803, the Metro, and we was in the back in the VIP and Craig was sitting by me and Craig goes, is that weed? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get out of here. <laughs> And he skedaddled. I well, got there you out go. Of well, I, need, I needed the job then. Right. I need the job. Well, now he's on today's show. Exactly. So. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. But, Charlamagne, the thing is, I mean, you're from here, and even though you live north now, you come down to do stuff like this. And tell us about, uh, you're, you're on the board of, of Charleston's new International African American Museum. Absolutely. Mm. Well, what, what does that mean to you? Oh, man, that means everything, because uh, the International African American Museum is built on uh, Gadsden's Wharf. And Gadsden's Wharf, I, I don't know the exact number, but, you know, almost half of all enslaved Africans came through that uh, that that port, and you know, so uh, for a lot of us, that is where our existence began, you know, uh, here in, in in America. And I wouldn't even call the International African American Museum a story of you know enslaved Africans. I would call it a story of survival, mm -hmm. you know, because you know our ancestors survived, and you know now we're here still trying to survive and some of us are, are, are thriving you know as well so i can't wait for people to come down and experience the international african-american museum you have so many projects going on i was just reading i didn't realize you have a project on audible now you produced it with kevin hart tell yeah. us about it well, we have a company at audible called uh, sbh which stands for short black and handsome productions <laughs> <laughs> that, that's subjective right <laughs> but we have a, our first project is called finding tamika and the reason that's so special is because tamika houston is actually a young lady from spartanburg south carolina uh, who went missing in the early 2000s. Tragically, she was murdered, and there was justice in her case. Her murderer was, uh, you know, arrested and, and convicted, but it's such an intriguing story that mm. sparked, you know, so many conversations about, you know, black and missing women in, uh, in America, and it's created by Color Farm Media and Erica mm. Alexander, narrated by Erica Alexander, and as a proud South Carolinian, you know, it just felt good to be able to, you know, put that project out through SBH Productions. Absolutely. One of the things I've always admired about this man is he's always used his platform mm. for good. Mm -hmm. Not always, well, but... Most of the well, time. Well, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But now... It's been the perfect balance of ratchetness and righteousness. Yeah, oh, ratchet. ratchetness. I like that. Yeah. But now you really use the platform. And Absolutely. Stuff that you've, you've done with mental health. That's Absolutely. true. I mean, that's become a cause that's near and dear to your heart, promoting conversations about the importance of mental health, Absolutely. especially a, in our community. Absolutely. I have a foundation called uh, the Mental Wealth Alliance, and um, our, our objective is to teach, train, and treat. And, you know, we want to do things like, you know, help get uh, social and emotional learning in grade schools. You know, I want to help 10 million black people get free therapy over the next over the next five years. And I want to increase the number of culturally competent, you know, black therapists and psychiatrists in our country, because I think the number is almost like three to four percent right now. But I want it to reflect the actual population of black people in America, get it up to like 13 percent. So we have to do that through you know, donations yeah. and, you know, providing scholarships and things like that, so. I love you, brother. Yeah. Thank you for me. And you out here sweating like a rookie, like you I don't know, know we in South Carolina. <laughs> I mean, like you, nice you probably yeah. have a rag, man. I got one. Come on, bro. In my pocket. Come on, on bro. I was before. trying. No, Come no, on. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. I mean, I'm too, I'm too overdressed. Y'all didn't even tell me I was going to be on the beach. Now I can't take these clothes back. Tell me the God. Be sure to check out the second season of his show, The God's Honest Truth with Charlamagne the God. It's on Comedy Central this summer. Love you. Thank you. Love you too, Craig. Good stuff.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.